In the first part of the training tutorials about advantages of Bones Pro, we have skinned successfully in less than a minute our dummy finger. The advanced real-time calculations of Bones Pro let us create smooth elastic skin out of box, yet what is with the simulation of real flesh and bones under the skin? Wouldn't it be nice to have a simple solution to stretch the skin over some hard surfaces like bone capsules on your fist or bulging joints when you bend your knees? Bones Pro comes with a lightning fast solution for all kinds of such round ankles and smooth underskin implant simulations. It is called Metabones. We will delete the skin model we have used for the comparison and switch to the side view. As you can see, the model has nice skin folds on the inner side. Now let us add some more realism on the joints. Select the 3DO plugins in the Create category and select Metabones. Create one Metabone by dragging it in the viewport. You can change the size and the position like any other geometry. I will make now an instance of this Metabone and place it over the other joint. This should simulate the bone ankles on our index or middle finger. It is very important to link these Metabones to the bones. One reason is we want them to move with the bones, and the other is that Bones Pro can recognize underskin deformations only if the metabones are linked to the current bone system. If we move the finger, nothing happens. By default, secondary deformations are disabled. Select the mesh and turn in the interface Metabone on. You see, the mesh get bulged around the metabone and in the bended position it has now some more edgy look. But this is not enough. With the blend parameter, we will raise the influence of the metabone. As you can see in the side view, the result is even if this is a simple cylinder, almost if we are looking on our own finger. Metabones have a fast real-time feedback and they are very flexible. You can squash and stretch them, but they are also animatable. This way you can simulate some pseudo-muscle simulations like biceps. To do this, I will place one metabone in the middle of the finger and with few simple keyframes let it grow and shrink during the animation. Complex muscle systems are great if you own them or if you know how to set them up. But for everyday fast and dirty work, where cartoon or some fantasy character move on the screen, you often don't need more than a simple bulging to simulate breathing or muscle swelling. But what if the underskin deformations are not spherical but custom shaped? In this case, we planned in our models parabones instead of metabones and this will be explained in our next part of the video tutorial.